hello in this tutorial we are going to find out this horizontal steel here in rc walls okay so detail over here is a number four bar we are using and 18 cent center is the distance so we have these walls this wall this wall this wall and this wall and remember we will take outward dimension in all of the cases because uh, these are horizontal wall we will start right from this position in this case up till here okay and uh, uh, for these as well we will take out our dimension just imagine this how we can place it over here and, uh, and the next to it uh, here for height we will take into in dimension right from this position up till here because we need to place a wall uh, sorry these reinforcement bars right from this position up till here at bottom we have bed and at top we have slab okay I hope you really understand this one so uh, we have a longitudinal done and number we have six underground again the same paste it over here and now we'll add here the length so first we will find out for these uh, walls okay these side walls so length i'll take out all dimension 11 feet 6 inches mean 138 inches okay and let me check it okay 138 inch so 138 is the length now next to it breadth of the wall we know and then we need to take here the height important one to take into in dimension okay and dimension right from this position up to this position and it is six feet six feet means 72 inches okay and uh, we need to add here the particular ball detail longitudinal ball and horizontal walls okay horizontal walls okay and spacing over here is 8 inch center to center okay next to it uh, we need to create and uh, draw the shape over here and this is pretty straightforward shape straight shape okay no bend over here we will start right from this position it is going in this direction the straight shape is over here okay and next to it as we have no bend the development length so it is okay dia that we are using over here is uh, number four bar is over here double click over here and copy this format over here as well okay and a concrete cover definitely we will use here number one and number of bars number of bars is span divided by spacing plus one so in order to find out this one number of bars we have a total span is this one okay the height is our span you can see over here it is going to start right from this position then this then this then this 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 okay so up till this position so span is the height equal to span minus concrete cover at both ends okay minus one span divided by spacing so spacing is eight in center center and then plus one will give us the total number of bars so it's mean that we have we need 10 bars over here okay round up start it come close the bracket also we need a total of 10 and then multiply by number of members okay it is important so we have this side one two and then three and the four we have four members over here okay so number of members as four multiply by total numbers will be equal to copy and paste it over here so 10 40 and then total length we need to find out the total length over here now here you can see we have this as the total we this as the length where we need to place this bar right from this position up till here indefinitely we need to do the bend uh, sorry the concrete cover we need to detect the concrete cover over here so this is total length minus concrete cover equal to let me show you e equal to total length minus concrete cover from both ends in order to find out the cut line that is 136 feet move it toward this direction okay so we have find out the cut length as well and equal to total length will be equal to cut length okay start the bracket i think yes 
कट लेंथ मल्टीप्लाई बाई टोटल नंबर्स डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व कट लेंथ मल्टीप्लाई बाई टोटल नंबर्स डिवाइडेड बाई ट्वेल्व ओके सो इट इज फोर फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट थ्री थ्री ओके रिमेंबर दिस वन एंड ड्यूरिंग कैलकुलेशन से इफ आई डन एनी काइंड ऑफ मिस्टेक आई कैन डू ओके सो जस्ट फॉर गिव मी एंड डू द करेक्शन ओके नो प्रॉब्लम सो फोर फिफ्टी थ्री फोर फिफ्टी थ्री इज ओके लेट मी स्टेच इट एटी सिक्स ओके सो वी हैव डन द हॉरिजेंटल स्टील एज वेल इन द लॉन्ग वॉल ओके सो नेक्स्ट टू इट सेवेंटी ओके Let me move over here. Number seven, okay, and uh, again underground in the same. Paste it over here, okay. And now we'll put here this wall as the length of the wall because we need to put here in this direction as well. Yes. So this is nine feet six inch. We'll take outward dimension. Remember, nine nine point five multiplied by twelve one fourteen. Okay, one fourteen. One thirty-eight. Okay, one one four, one one four nine inch and height the same, seventy-two. Okay, and uh, sorry, horizontal walls, not walls, but the bars. Okay, horizontal bars. Copy. You can write here the short wall as well. Okay. So eight inch center, center the same goes here as well, and now in order to find out the length, we need to draw the shape over here as well. Okay, this is our shape. Control Z, we can put the shape over here. No, it is okay for me. Okay, shape is over here, and the rest uh, we have number four bar we are using over here. One inch as center center number of bars will be equal to. Span divided by spacing plus one. Okay, this is span divided by spacing plus one, and we need to deduct the concrete cover as well. Yes. So I'll paste it over here. The same goes here as ten. Okay, because we have same height. Okay, and the same spacing over here. Okay, number as number as. Okay, and then number of members as four again. Okay, in this direction we have two layers. This one, this one, two, and. At this end as well too. Okay, it will make total of four layers. Okay, so four multiply by total numbers and the total numbers. I'll copy this one and I'll paste it over here. Okay, and then total length we need to find out that will be equal to cut length multiply by total numbers. Okay, let me check it. Okay, we need to find out the cut length first over here. So cut length will be equal to what? This will be equal to copy this one. We can copy paste over here as well. Okay, double click over here, and this is one fourteen. We from one fourteen. Okay, this is basically the length and minus uh, concrete cover at both ends, and it is one one four, and uh, this is equal to. This one, hit enter. So it is total of three eighty, I think. Okay, number. So here you can see we have total weight nine seventy five point four nine point nine seven k ton. Okay, so we have find out all of the steel. Okay, all of the steel here at the bottom in the bed, and here as well in the RC walls as well. Okay. But during calculations, I can do the mistakes. Okay, the little mistakes. Okay, forgive me and uh, make correction. If you think I, I have done any kind of mistake, okay, you can just uh, correct that one as well, and you can let me know in the uh, comment section and in Q and A section as well, or you can directly message me as well. No problem. Okay, so I'll try to update those. Okay, but the process is same. I I want to deliver here the process. I want to just let you know about the process how we can find out actually over here. Okay, and I hope you really understand this session. I'll see you in the next.